I understand you started modelling whilst at university. Um, would you have benefited from courses like the one that Durham University is suggesting? Uh, hello. Um, no, I don't believe I would have. I think everything I've learned is through my own research and safety wise I feel like having a community at university may have been beneficial but when I started four years ago they had no community no community and I didn't know of any other sex workers either so I'm not sure if it would have been beneficial because I may have been the only person there. Right so, so you were basically modelling that weren't you? Um... What kind of challenges do you think that people from OnlyFans... I don't know, have you ever used OnlyFans at all or been on there? Yeah, um, that is the main platform that I use and I've right. been on there since September 2017. You're, you're and I like started an... a week after being at university. So you're an early adopter no to it. Really, so this, this OnlyFans thing then, I mean, can you really make as much money? People are saying they make a fortune out of it. Uh, yeah, um, I believe I did have a little bit of better timing than... Most do now. It's very competitive now. But when I started, like I said, nobody else did it. Um, so I think that gave me a bit of an extra push mm. into doing So Successful. Like after, I believe, four months of being at university, I, um, I was making over 30,000. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Don't worry about it. How much 30,000 a month, did you say? 30, yeah, over 30,000 a month. I'm in the wrong job. <laughs> Seriously. So did you, wouldn't you just quit university, take the money and run, or you just carried on with it? I did quit university, yeah. I knew point. it. You see, this is what they're doing. They're teaching people how to use these things properly, and then people will just quit and take the money and run. So you didn't finish your course, and, and you've just been making money from that side of things for quite some time, I assume, then? Um, yeah, so I quit after maybe six or seven months at university. I basically did one year because they end, don't they, around like March or May, somewhere mm. between spring. Um, and yeah, I called my dad up and he was like, if this is how you're feeling and you want to put more time and effort into this business, then that's up to you because you are earning more than what your tutors are earning at this point. Exactly. So that is what I did. Yeah, and then probably... And now I, I, I do earn double that now. Oh my. Times treble. Really? So, so yeah. what, what, what is it that people do on this website? I'm just out of interest. <laughs> um, so everybody on there is completely different. This is your platform and you decide what you want to do. You make your own rules, you set your own boundaries and you don't have to say yes to everything. You can say no to whatever you want to. It's your business, your profile and yeah, that's it. I see. So on your site, well, on your OnlyFans, nothing too naughty, is it? Or is it... What sort of um, just give so us the, the good stuff, I'm the things you can say? Page, so everything right. I do is just all me. Um, I do explicit content. I take requests, um, FaceTimes, video chats, all of the above. Yeah. That's the wow. Part. But obviously each person's different. So for the universities to be sort of educating the students in this way, is this a wise thing? Seen as you were, what were you studying? Sorry, and then you quit. What were you studying? Um, international relations and global development. It was heavily politics based what I was studying. I just wanted to work with aid work. I wanted to do international aid, um, but I realised I don't need a degree to help. I can. I just need money. That's what I needed. <laughs> so, have you put any of your money into helping out internationally at all? Yeah, yeah. Huh? I've done. Um, every time I travel abroad, I volunteer, whether that's with children or with animals, um, and I'm constantly donating to causes, but more local causes, not really the big charities. Um, I like to see exactly where my money's going, if mm. it's not me physically helping. Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. So are there better ways than the, that the university could be using, rather than actually creating a course to, to show people the best way to make money or to, to do this? <laughs> Yeah, this is the thing which makes my emotions mix with this topic because I don't believe they should be promoting it. One, because people there have gone to university to get a specific career and they are spending a lot of money to become trained in that career. And once you enter the sex working industry, it is very hard to find a job after that. You know, like people don't take you as seriously, even though we are part of the free market and we should be embraced. It's sadly not the case. Um, we are treated like second-class citizens. You struggle to work with children after you've been in this sort of industry. There's a lot of things to take into consideration. Now, I feel if the university is offering knowledge to prepare people and explain, look, this is what happens, this is what will happen if you take this route, if you do this route, 
then that could be beneficial, I believe, to people. But promoting it and training people how to do it, I think is, it, is, it is preying on people's vulnerability because I only started this industry because I was so poor. Like, I, I could not afford to eat at university. And I know that a lot of other students will be that way as well. But also, I do think, our family's industry without university and if someone does want to do this work then they will do it so having that support and community in an educational place could be beneficial to them because all people who are self-employed not just sex workers it can be very isolating and you can feel very alone um i know tons of workers who are struggling with addiction but not just like drug addiction but money addiction work addiction i know girls that don't sleep because all they want to do is work so having that support there and someone to say whoa you're doing too much or are you happy just having someone there could be very ben beneficial mm. all right well listen uh well done 60 grand a month what? Well oh, done, you. <laughs> Unbelievable. Listen, I'll follow you on uh, Twitter. You follow me back, otherwise you're dead to me. Kaya, thank you so much. <laughs> That's Kaya Corbett. Thank you. She's an OnlyFans model. Wow. Well, listen, in response to the criticism of, of course, uh, Jonah Graham, a Durham Students' Union Welfare and Liberation Officer, said, you've got to be maliciously uh, disingenuous to pretend to misunderstand this as anything other than an attempt to support students in a difficulty arising from the reality of rising costs in higher education. Trying to create a scandal from an attempt to support people whose work can make them vulnerable is contemptible. Wow.